What is optocoupler and how it generally works? An optocoupler, also known as an optoisolator or photocoupler, is an electronic component that is used to electrically isolate two parts of a circuit while allowing information or signals to be transferred between them optically. It consists of two main components, an input section and an output section, which are physically separated by a transparent or translucent optical barrier, typically a small gap. Here's how an optocoupler generally works. Input Section The input section of an optocoupler consists primarily of a light-emitting diode, LED. The purpose of this section is to convert an electrical signal, such as a voltage or current input, into light. Here's a more detailed explanation of the input section. LED, light emitting diode The LED is the core component of the input section. When a voltage is applied across its terminals, it emits light. The intensity of the emitted light is directly proportional to the current flowing through the LED. The LED is designed to emit light in response to changes in the input signal. Input current, to activate the LED and cause it to emit light, an input current must be supplied to the LED. The magnitude of this current is typically specified in the optocoupler's datasheet and can vary from one optocoupler model to another. Input connection, the input terminals of the optocoupler are connected to the LED. Depending on the specific optocoupler model, there may be two or more input terminals, including an anode, positive, and a cathode, negative, connection for the LED. Signal input, the electrical signal that you want to transmit or isolate is usually applied to the input terminals of the optocoupler. This signal may come from an external circuit and can be in the form of a voltage or current. Voltage or current control, the input section allows you to control the LED emission of light by adjusting the current passing through it. By varying the input current, you can control the intensity of the light emitted by the LED, which, in turn, affects the operation of the optocoupler. In summary, the input section of an optocoupler is responsible for converting an electrical input signal into light by driving the LED. This light is then transmitted across the optocoupler's internal barrier to the output section, where it is detected and used to generate an electrical output signal, thus achieving electrical isolation between the input and output sides of the optocoupler. The output section of an optocoupler is responsible for detecting the light emitted by the input section's LED and converting it back into an electrical signal. The output section typically consists of a photosensitive component, such as a phototransistor or a photodetector. Here's a detailed explanation of the output section. Photosensitive component The primary component of the output section is a photosensitive device, which is sensitive to light. The two most common types of photosensitive components used in optocouplers are Phototransistor In optocouplers with a phototransistor output, the photosensitive component is a transistor. When light from the input section's LED strikes the phototransistor, it causes the transistor to conduct current between its collector and emitter terminals. The amount of current flowing through the phototransistor is proportional to the intensity of the received light. Photodetector or photodiode Some optocouplers use a photodetector or photodiode in the output section. When exposed to light, a photodiode generates a voltage across its terminals. The magnitude of this voltage is determined by the intensity of the incident light. Output terminals The output terminals of the optocoupler are connected to the photosensitive component, whether it's a phototransistor or a photodiode. These output terminals are where the electrical output signal is obtained. Isolation barrier Similar to the input section, there is an isolation barrier, often an optically transparent material, that physically separates the photosensitive component in the output section from the LED in the input section. This barrier ensures electrical isolation between the two sections while allowing the transmission of light. Signal output, the electrical signal obtained at the output terminals of the optocoupler corresponds to the amount of light detected by the photosensitive component. In the case of a phototransistor, it's the current through the collector emitter path, while in the case of a photodetector or photodiode, it's the voltage across its terminals. 
signal amplification, phototransistor in optocouplers with phototransistor output, the output current from the phototransistor can be used to drive other components in the output circuit, potentially providing signal amplification and isolation simultaneously. The key function of the output section is to convert the optical signal received from the input section into an electrical signal that can be further processed or used in an external circuit. This conversion process maintains the electrical isolation between the input and output sides of the optocoupler while allowing for signal transmission. The specific type of photosensitive component used in the output section, phototransistor or photodiode, depends on the design and intended application of the optocoupler. Isolation, in the context of an optocoupler, also known as an optoisolator or photocoupler, refers to the electrical separation between the input and output sections of the device. This isolation is achieved through the use of an optical barrier that physically separates these two sections while allowing the transmission of light. Here's a closer look at isolation in optocouplers. Optical barrier, the core element that enables isolation in an optocoupler is the optical barrier. This barrier is typically a gap or a transparent slash translucent material that prevents direct electrical contact between the input and output sections. Input section, the input section of the optocoupler includes an LED, light emitting diode, that emits light when an electrical current is applied to it. The light produced by the LED is directed towards the optical barrier. Output section, the output section of the optocoupler includes a photosensitive component, such as a phototransistor or a photodiode, which is positioned on the other side of the optical barrier. This component detects the light emitted by the LED and generates an electrical signal in response to the received light. Electrical isolation, because there is no direct electrical connection between the input and output sections and they are separated by the optical barrier electrical signals cannot flow directly between them. This isolation prevents the transfer of electrical noise, voltage spikes, or other disturbances from one side of the circuit to the other. It is particularly important in applications where safety, interference, or protection against voltage differences is critical. Safety and protection optocouplers are commonly used in situations where it's essential to protect sensitive or low-voltage components from higher voltage or noisy environments. For example, in industrial control systems, medical devices, and automotive electronics, optocouplers are employed to ensure the safety and reliability of circuits. Galvanic isolation, the isolation provided by optocouplers is often referred to as galvanic isolation. Galvanic isolation ensures that there is no direct metallic path between the input and output sections, preventing the flow of electrical currents or potential differences that could otherwise cause damage or interference. In summary, isolation in optocouplers is the key feature that allows these devices to protect circuits from electrical interference, provide safety in high-voltage environments, and ensure the reliable transfer of signals between different parts of a circuit. The optical barrier, which physically separates the input and output sections, plays a crucial role in achieving this electrical isolation while allowing for the transmission of signals through light. Signal transfer in the context of optocouplers refers to the process by which an electrical signal is transmitted from the input section of the optocoupler to the output section while maintaining electrical isolation. Optocouplers achieve signal transfer through the use of light. Here's how the signal transfer process typically works. Input section. The input section of the optocoupler includes an LED, light emitting diode. When an electrical signal, such as a voltage or current, is applied to the input terminals of the optocoupler, it controls the current passing through the LED. The input signal causes the LED to emit light. The intensity of the emitted light is directly proportional to the magnitude of the input signal. In other words, the input signal modulates the light emitted by the LED. Optical barrier. The optical barrier, which is typically a gap or a transparent slash translucent material, separates the input section, containing the LED, from the output section, containing the photosensitive component. The emitted light from the LED is directed across this barrier toward the output section. Output section. The output section of the optocoupler contains a photosensitive component, which can be either a phototransistor or a photodetector, photodiode. 
The photosensitive component is positioned on the other side of the optical barrier, opposite the LED. When light emitted by the LED reaches the photosensitive component, it activates the photosensitive element. Signal Detection In the case of a phototransistor output, the light falling on the phototransistor causes it to conduct current between its collector and emitter terminals. The magnitude of this current is directly proportional to the intensity of the received light. This current can be used as an output signal. In the case of a photodiode or photodetector output, the light generates a voltage across its terminals. The magnitude of this voltage is determined by the intensity of the incident light. This voltage can be used as the output signal. Electrical isolation. The crucial aspect of signal transfer in optocouplers is that there is no direct electrical connection between the input and output sections. The signal is transferred optically through the transmission of light across the optical barrier. This electrical isolation ensures that any electrical noise, voltage differences, or interference present on one side of the optocoupler does not affect the other side, providing protection and reliability in various applications. In summary, signal transfer in optocouplers involves the conversion of an electrical input signal into light in the input section, driven by the LED, and then the conversion of that light back into an electrical output signal in the output section, detected by the photosensitive component. The key advantage is that this process maintains electrical isolation between the input and output sides, making optocouplers useful for applications requiring safety, noise reduction, or protection against voltage spikes and disturbances.